Steph and Pete. Uh, and if you're new here, sometimes we go to way too many bars in one evening. I don't do shots. And we film it. We also travel as a family, uh, sometimes with my parents who have been in town. And actually, this is the first night out video that is l less than a week. It's probably the first that's like less than a few weeks from the last night out video, which was in Hong Kong. And if I'm honest, we weren't super motivated to come out tonight because we're old, but my parents, AKA free childcare, free unlimited childcare, are still in town. So we have forced ourselves to come have an evening out. Um, and I was gonna say that this is gonna be more low key than our usual evenings because it's a little bit last minute. And now it's gonna be even more low key because the first place we wanted to take you, which was the only bar that we've been to, that we planned for tonight is Nopa Burry Bar. It's incredible. They feature Thai spirits. It's so cool in there, but even though it's supposed to open at six, it's not opening for another hour. It's a bummer. I really like this place. Uh, so I don't have a plan until our reservation at eight. And if you're not new here, you know that I'm a planner. So I don't know, let's go figure something out. This actually would have worked out if we stuck to my plan, because we were gonna go to a place on the riverfront first, but traffic is so horrendous here, so. Just keep that in mind when you're planning in Chiang Mai. We nixed the first stop to go there a little bit earlier. This one's like Okay. We've come to Bitter Truth, which is just down the road, uh, which is a cocktail bar. Although next door they have like a beer and wine area too, which actually is like a, I like the vibe even better over there. But we wanted cocktails. Mine is um, tequila and mezcal and a cilantro cordial, apple cider vinegar, foam, cilantro oil. I don't, a lot of things I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's good. If you're interested, I went for an old fashioned. They had one. And on you had so many good drinks. Okay. There was one on the menu that was described like an old fashioned mix with a menthol cigarette. That's not really how it was described. Yeah, I wasn't into that, so I just went for a cup. Okay, by the way, this is foam. Yeah. It's his bar. Uh, his his favorite bar is White Rabbit, which is also on our list, but for late. I don't know if we're gonna fit everything in. And Nopa Berry, which we tried to go to. But what were you saying? You were number 20, right? Yeah. That, that was number, number 20 in Thailand's best. Number 18. You were number 18. No, White Rabbit. White Rabbit. Oh, White Rabbit's number 18. You guys were number 20 yes. in Thailand's best bars 2023. That's awesome. That's great. That's cool. What we should be doing right now is going to the other bar he recommended, Tube Bar. Uh, and what we're doing instead is going to a bar that I saw mentioned on Reddit that's probably full of old men. You gotta, you gotta like diversify and something we like to do in these videos, we don't always do, is show like both ends of the spectrum. Uh, and if you haven't yet noticed, we don't know that much about Chiang Mai. We have a four-year-old son, despite being what I call athletes on these nights out. We don't actually go out a lot, so I don't really know how to choose them, but I do love a like low-key beer bar. All right, let's get a go-go. Oh, careful. This is something we've actually used quite a bit here. I used one today, earlier today. Uh, this is uh, GoGo bikes, the electric bikes that there's an app. You have to scan it, unlock it, and then off you go. How much is it for like, a, what's like the rate? Baht. It's like 10 baht for 30, a minute? 30 baht. 30 baht for a minute? 10 minutes. 30 baht for 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay, all right, it's, it's pretty affordable. It's a great way to zip around the city. The, but the best, best feature about them, I think. They, they come with helmets and they're like on these really funny Helmet. elasticated like cords that you like you can't take it off the cord that's smart but anyway it's a little bit of safety we're only doing this because we've had one drink after this ride we're pedestrians only they have these adjustable phone mounts which is really helpful for navigating this is not sponsored it's funny how this is like normal Right now. Just like riding through the bank. They're not in Bangkok. <laughs> okay, right away. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Literally about I think five months now.
six spot and it was 12 minutes. So whatever we quoted on pricing was not quite correct. We also drove by the bar. I'm not sure this is a good decision. It's a decision. Welcome to Thailand. Thank you. Thank you. Very welcome, lady. Take it. I share to you and you and me. Oh, you have it? Welcome this, to my bar. This was a good decision. Uh, was it? That's it. What's this called? It's the Thai. It's Thai. It's Lam. It's Sang way good. Lam. Sang Song. Sang Song. It's very good. Yeah. Thai product. This is very good, huh? We literally just walked in here. Uh, What's your name? Me. Me. Me is my name. Your name is me and this is my bar. Yes, me is my bar. We walked in and me Thank you. is giving Welcome. us a Welcome shot of Sang, Sang Song. Just Thai like rum? Yes, Thai rum. Thai rum. It's way warm. I don't do shots. I don't... Do it, do it. It's very good, we'll let you know. Make you warm and wake up. Makes you warm and wake up. Not bad. And not good. It could be worse. So what should I drink at my bar? Oh, anything you want. What do you want? Favorite beer. Yeah, just what it's what gonna be want? a long night. I'll have a, I'll have a sing on please. Yes. This might be our first night out that we've ever done and there's just like no one around. Every bar we've been to has been like really quiet, right? Are we like missing something or are we too early? Are we too late? Maybe it's that like first week after New Year's? Yeah, it's like January. Yeah, but no, but Hong Kong was like... Oh yeah, Hong Kong was bossing. I mean, it was like... I mean, this place looks... It's it. great, it's just no one there. And if, but there's like no one in the place next to it. There's a couple of people in the acoustic music bar just down there. But the guy's not playing music, it's just chatting. It's a bummer because I feel like there's a ton of really cool places here. We're just not getting like the energy from like other Can people. Can we have a drink? Yeah. <laughs> Is it upstairs or downstairs? We got the choice of the bar. Are there people but, upstairs? Yes. Is there more Oh great, okay. Let's go upstairs then. Oh, don't judge a book by its cover, please. I'm going to be brief, because this place is too cool for us to be vlogging. Um, don't judge a book by its cover. It turns out when you go inside the Craft Cola by day bar, you come upstairs and you go through a curtain and you're in like a sweet easy bar, which seems really cool. I was going to say that, um, just in case it was unclear that my research is chaotic. The last bar I saw on like a random comment on Reddit, this one I saw on Tatler. I don't even know what Tatler is, but it's like a magazine. It's always really fancy and it's always interviewing like chefs. I think that's where I saw them. We've just ordered drinks. They have mezcal, but the names are great. I ordered the hashtag Smoky Cryboy and Pete is the hashtag Easy Lover. You've also got the monkey and peach business. You've got the, um, no, the other ones aren't as good. And I'm losing your life. Uh oh. Tell you that Smoky Cryboy is already sold out. Smoky Cryboy is already sold out. It's what Pete gets for saying that these places aren't busy. What should I have? We have uh, more booze for Sad Man. More booze for Sad Man. Yes. Sure. Okay, gotcha. More booze for Sad Man. <laughs> um, what was your name? Pat. Pat. Yes. And Pat has recommended two more bars that are really near the place we're going next. Uh, just complicating our evening, which is the theme of this video, is like stop planning and just go with the flow and ask your bartenders. That's what we should be doing. See you later. All right, that had the potential to be like a cool shot. What? You don't, Get out of here. You don't have my pressure. Hello. That that was great.
that was I'm really enjoying my cocktail. Hmm. And like it felt like a Bangkok. But they actually do have we found they have a place in Bangkok as well. Um, but this is the original. This is the original. But it was it was really cool. I'm about to do the most cliche thing you could ever do, and I'm gonna get a 7-Eleven ham and cheese toasty. Are we 22 year old backpackers? No, okay. I'm about to be 38 years old. Do we always forget to eat on these nights out because we like get on such an agenda? Yes, that's something that happens. I don't recommend it. We're drinking a lot of alcohol. We need to eat. We also have a table that disappears at nine o'clock if we don't make it to this next spot. So it is what it is. If we are really hardcore, we'll be getting a rope here. Do we need to? But if they had that grape, if, grapefruit and gin from Hong Kong last weekend? Well, that I really enjoyed my Qingdao from last last week. That was just last Saturday. That's yours. Who gets just cheese? The cheese is the suspect part. We're at Ramba, which has a show, drag queen show, from 9.30 till I think like 11.30. I had to call earlier to reserve a table, and they said you had to be here before 9. So it's like 5 to 9 right now. It means we've got a 35 minute wait, which might impact our, we normally have a strict like one drink rule that every bar that we go to. I think we might have to have two drinks then. We might, we might have to stuff. We've been waiting nearly an hour now. there which I think is actually going to be the recommendation um, what I thought was gonna be the recommendation again we're doing we're doing the hard advance work for you anyway they said daily show there 930 and if you want a table you need to call and reserve and they start accepting reservations at midday so we called you have to show up for your table before 9 the show starts at 930 but in actuality it starts at 940 950 after like too much suspense, a lot of suspense, like smoke and a too much share. I'm sorry, I love drag queens and gay bars. I don't have a lot of time for share. However, when the show starts, the caliber of those drag queens, incredible. The costumes, fantastic. Pyrotechnics, like code, building code is not, oh. We've got some Celine Dion now. I would maybe just rock up and hang out on the street for two reasons. One, they don't have a dressing room. They get dressed in the like shop across the street. So if you're on the street, you're actually in direct view of like the entrance to the stage, which is perfect. Second of all, as I learned from just getting my jacket, you can just climb up and prop yourself up at the wall and have a peek. And the, the people vibing on the street are not the planners. They're not the planners. They're the people that have been having a good time and have shown up and are bringing the party to the street and still have a decent view of the drag queen. So if you come to Chiang Mai, put Rambar on your list, 100%. Maybe don't book the table, because it honestly was like a little bit of a buzzkill. Is this a six minute clip? Yeah, okay. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. So that gives it away. But there's a red light. It's like a little red light. Look, did you see it? We see it. We see it. Go. All right, but that's like a clue. I love a bar with a clue. <laughs> they don't need this. Get rid of this. Just have the little red light. <laughs> I think it's back here. 
It is back here. Oh, but this is cool. Because we've just passed like a couple of like bars the moral with like. Story, don't research. Stop watching this video and just come to Chiang Mai. It's jazz. just say I'm constantly learning my lesson that like my inclination is to research the shit out of everywhere we go and some places a lot of places any place arguably like that's not the move hey, are you still talking around the drunk show no <laughs> the move is to just go with the flow and talk to locals and talk to bartenders and find cool places and I know that like I said it's a lesson that I'm learning but the night is young. We still got a few. Is more it spots. though? Because I think stuff closes here at like twelve or one, and that well, drag let's, bar, let's, as great as it was, wasted a lot of our time stop. and broke our one drink rule. Stop your yapping. Let's go. Yeah. Final stop of the evening. 
this out. Stumbled across. This This is a really great bar. But I had a really funny interaction with the bar because I asked for a large thing huh? that we were going to share two glasses. And the guy, bartender, went to go put ice in the glass and then like quickly stopped because he saw I was a foreigner. And then I said, no, ice. And they, like everyone in the bar, sat around the bar, everyone laughed. They all found it really funny and I said, I'm a local. And they just like, thought it was the funniest thing that happened. You're not a local, time. but we do love ice. I'm absolutely not a local, but I love, I'm like fully on board with it's ice great. and beer. But I love even more that I got a bit of a chocolate out of the people at the bar. That was like, that's made my night. This place, I will say, when I, I read one thing about it on some website I've never heard of, and it described it as the country barn. Oh. And that was like enough for me. It's a country barn, but like in a parking lot. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a great vibe.